All right, Rain6 here. This is James. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on this DPM multiple spring recoil reduction system for the Arsenal Fire and Strike 1 5 inch barrel, 9 millimeter, and 40 cal. All right, so here we have a this isn't a stock strike one, but it does have the stock guide rod and spring in it. So let's go ahead and clear this and we'll get inside this gun and show you what it looks like. First of all, you can tell that it's stock guide rod and spring because it's just black right there. Black piece of polymer. So let's break this gun down. And there we are. That's the stock spring right there. So we'll just leave the slide and barrel off to the side. And let's talk about this kit. Okay, it comes with several different springs in here, three of them to be exact. One, put this off to the side. We have, and untangle these, or just leave them like that. We can install them in the gun just like that, all three of them at once. No, not really. One of them shorter than the rest. So this is silver, it's the shortest. Then we have this silver medium strength. So this is the lightest spring, silver medium strength. And then this one is gold in color, okay? This one here, I've run in guns several times with no problem, but it's really meant for if you're doing your own reloads and they're lighter reloads and you don't want problem cycling, you're running underpowered cartridges, this would be the spring you'd wanna put in there. The spring that uh, we're going to put into this 9mm today is going to be the medium weighted spring here. And then the gold one, which is fine to run all of your store bought type of ammo, 9mm works just fine as well. But it's really intended for if you're going to be running overpowered rounds or 40 caliber, if you have a 40 cal strike one, then you're going to run this gold spring. Okay, but then again, this will run everything that you get at the store, 9mm, no problem as well. I've run this one in a gun for hundreds of rounds, shooting all kinds of 9mm, it's been fine. I run the medium size, the medium strength one as well. And for me, I just feel like it has, it, well, for sure, it, there is some less felt recoil running this spring than running this spring. Okay, so that's why I run this one here. Here we have your guide rod, and then we actually have the end spring here and then there's another spring inside the guide rod and we'll get into what that does once we put it into the gun but a couple things you need to realize when you put this in the gun save yourself maybe a few seconds of aggravation because it's not captured you can't just put it in there and just try to put it in it might just bend like that on you if it does just bend your spring back it's not a problem but I just put my fingers on the side, like so. Zoom in here a little bit. Fingers on the side, so that spring's not gonna go anywhere. And then I'm gonna seat it where it's supposed to be, right inside there. Get a close up on that. See where that divot is right there? That's where the guide rod goes. I'm going to seat it in just like such without bending that spring. Okay, there you go. It's in the right position right here. Now I'm going to put the gun back together and we'll see if I can get it in there the right way. Okay, that's what I wanted it to do because I wanted to show you guys something. If you don't buy a Strike 1 with a <clears throat> competition upgrade, which is a trigger job, a DPM low recoil reduction spring system like we're talking about today and with the competition upgrade comes a chamfering of the barrel then this might happen it happened to me the very first time I installed a spring into my gun and I wondered that's interesting looks kind of cool I could probably muzzle punch you know something with that if I wanted to but you could tell that the gun doesn't cycle it doesn't feel the right way like that Here's the fix for it. And this is what I've explained to a few customers on the phone so far. It's gonna seem silly, but it works. There you go. Just hit the gun, top of your palm right there, and now it's seated the right way. Okay? And then what I did was I just shot a few hundred rounds 
and I've never had that problem happen again. But this is a brand new spring, brand new gun. So I'm glad we actually recreated that small issue right there. So let me just show you what's happening. Let's break this down again. Pull out the spring off camera right here. All right, I'm actually gonna pull the barrel out so we can get a close up on this. What in fact is happening so that guide rod doesn't seat all the way is it's getting caught right on that lip right there. So it's just about half a millimeter, okay? Half a millimeter of space or a ledge that the guide rod's getting hung up on. After I've shot my gun for a little while, I've kind of just deburred the edge off of this naturally, and then it automatically slides up into place. So that's one way around it. But if you don't want to have to deal with that, if you get the competition upgrade, which is the trigger, the spring system, and the chamfering of the barrel at IFC, International Firearm Corporation, they'll actually mill that down, chamfer it, so that this will automatically always slide into place. Okay. The other way around it is I've had customers just take a Dremel and just take that little edge, that sharp edge right off of there. There you go. Sharp edge right off of there, and then you won't have any issues. But that's something to consider because <clears throat> when you put the spring system in there, I hate for someone to get home and see that thing sticking out at the end and going, gosh, that doesn't cycle or feel the right way. How do you fix it? The easy fix is just to hit it just like I showed you and then <clears throat> run the gun for a few hundred rounds and maybe not even a few hundred. I, I can't tell when it happened, but I know I put about 300 rounds through the gun that I uh, first installed this in and I've never had an issue with it since. And I've never even had a gun yet that's come with the chamfering of the barrel. I've just explained that to customers and then they've shot them and it's been fine. But if you don't want that small kind of uh, inconvenience, then it's going to be just fine by getting it with the competition upgrade. See, there it did it again. Like I said, brand new spring. Now it's going to cycle exactly how it's supposed to. All right, so what do we cover? Just a recap. The spring that's inside of it is the medium silver spring. This is the short one right here. This is for underpowered loads. When I first got the system, I just ran this in it the whole time and it performed just fine. I think all springs will probably perform just fine with all store-bought 9 mil, but I run the medium spring just so it doesn't uh, exhaust this entire spring and then have that final small spring in there take up all the, uh, all the force. <clears throat> and then the gold spring, which is for running 40 cal or higher powered cartridges, higher power factors. Maybe you're loading your own, maybe you're running plus P plus and uh, you want to run that uh, gold spring as well as 40 cal. Okay, so how does it work? Well, it's more progressive now. Instead of just having one spring with one strength, when the gun goes off, you're getting that main recoil spring to start compressing. And then when the slide makes its way all the way towards the back, that's when it engages that smaller, tighter spring that's built onto the guide rod. And then when the gun actually goes back into battery, it's not going to go back with as much force because we're not using this single spring system. It's actually going to allow the gun to stay flatter and not have that return slide dip of the gun when you're shooting. Slide returns then you have more of that dip. So it definitely feels like it shoots flatter, easier to stay on target multiple shots and also less felt recoil. I myself have shot this gun side by side with a regular one, guide rod and spring in it, and with this system in it. And I try to put a number on how much less felt recoil and softer shooting, if you just want to use that layman term, does it feel by using the system? Well, the answer for me was 15%. And Josh, our, my partner, and co-owner of Rain 6. He shoots a lot more than I do. His number was 20%. So it definitely makes a difference without a doubt. And it's a nice little upgrade to have. 
that's just a couple of things that you need to know about it. Which spring to use when, and also if your guide rod is sticking out, what you need to do about it. How to avoid all that, which isn't a lot, but if you want to avoid it, then all you do is purchase a strike one with a competition upgrade. You're probably going to want a trigger job anyway, which this one does have. With a nice short three pound, three and a half pound pole. And then we also, with the trigger upgrade, you're going to get a shorter reset by about 50%. So a stock trigger may be seven to eight millimeters on the reset. This reset here, it's about three to four millimeter. So you get a shorter reset, you get polished sears, new springs and sights, you get a smoother trigger pull, lighter trigger pull, and a shorter reset with a competition upgrade, as well as a spring system installed, as well as the milling or the chamfering of the barrel. All right, that's a quick tutorial on running your Strike One with the DPM spring system. Thanks for watching. Rain six out. Oh, and like and subscribe. Like and subscribe if you like the videos that we'll be putting out. Appreciate it.